Rudrush is asking, nearly every uh, American right-wing pro-Israel uh, government has been equally pro-Saudi Arabia. But the different, but the right loves Israel and hates Saudi. Why the Saudi slash Israel policy comes as a package deal? Ooh, this is complex. Um, wait. Well, it's because of the Abraham Accords. I mean, I, I mean, well, no. Before then, it, well, it's also it's also an anti-Iran measure. Yeah, I mean. It has, I mean, even before the Abrahamic Accords, it has become obvious that the Saudis are taking the side of Israel against Iran. Um, so there's that. Also, you, it's very, it's very convenient to have token Arabs as a way to be like, hey, we don't hate all Arabs. Look at these <laughs> Arabs. You know, we like them just because they're also fighting our enemies, right? So it's kind of like tokenism, I guess. Is that what it's called? You're like this. Is I guess the, so. This, yeah. I I mean, if, if a lot of the people who are pro the Islamic Republic, okay, they also have uh, token Arabs, right? So, which is the Shia Arabs, right? They're like, so, I think it's just the opposite, right? So the yeah, I guess like the, the people who support the Islamic Republic of Iran, they're also are technically right wing, okay, and they're extremely racist and very anti Arab, okay. But they also have this version of like, well, I mean, Syrian Arabs and Lebanese Arabs, they're like, and this is how they defend them. They're not like original Arabs. <laughs> they're like, you know, they're like, they're, they're, they're okay uh, because they're not like Arab Arab. <laughs> I'm not saying YouTube, I'm not saying that. I'm, I'm describing what these racists would say, right? They're like, oh, the OG Arabs are the Gulf Arabs. So it's okay for us to defend like Syrian Arabs or Lebanese Arabs because they're not really Arab. <laughs> okay, like they're like or they're even like, the Palestinians. Don't the Palestinians actually have a lot of Persian heritage? I, I don't know. I don't think so. Well, I mean, I've heard people say that like Palestinians, if you actually look genetically, like they're not as Arab as people I mean, think. Not that it matters. Okay. I just thought that was really interesting, if true. Yeah, I don't think it matters. I mean, the, the whole area got mixed. Okay, so the Palestinian area used to be part of Persian Empire for a long time until the Ottoman Empire took it over, okay? And then the Ottoman Empire took it over. I don't know how much the Ottomans managed to get their genes involved in there, but who gives a, who gives a shit? Okay, I, I, I don't think we should, like, play into this whole... Um, yeah, people are like, should we be against you or against, or defend you? Or like, well, let's talk about your DNA. Like, okay, <laughs> no. Like, people are discussing each other's DNA and heritage to decide whether or not they should be on your side or not on your side. It just shows how ethno-national, like this ethnic superiority is such a toxic thing around Middle East. Like, we, I, I don't think we should give in to... Uh, we should even start the conversation about like whether or not they're right or wrong about how Arab or Persian community is, right? But yeah, I mean, I think like what's happening is like it's a lot of t tokenism, right? It's a lot of like we're not racist. Look at this, we we love these Arabs. Yes, we don't want like <laughs> these are the same people who are like think Israel will become like they they are trying to make, turn Israel into an ethno state. So they're trying to fight against the Arabization of Israel. Like this is their nightmare, right? That's what they're trying to avoid. Um, so they are they are racist. They are extremely racist. So if they're supporting Arabs outside of their borders, it's it's, it's also reminds me of like um, white ethno nationalists who'd be like, "We're not against blacks. We just want them to be separate." We want them to be in Africa and they could have their Wakanda. Like we want them to do so great in Africa. We wish the best for the black black people. Just not in Europe, right? Just like just leave Europe, leave North America, go back to Africa. And when you're there, we like we're gonna be like, yay, do your build your own nations and we hope everything works out for you. Okay. So we're not racist. We just want to be separate, okay? So I feel like it's kind of also the same thing, right? These are the same right-leaning people who want to make sure that Israel does not have, does not become uh, too Arabic, all right? But if they're like outside of the, uh, uh, if they're living outside of Israel 
and they also if they're fighting if they're against your enemies so if they're against the islamic republic of iran then we'll be like yay we love these arabs as long as you're not in our country <laughs> so it's very similar right is that did you feel like it's similar i, feel I like just like this comment from d saying race and ethnicity are very poor indicators of a person's character that's the moral of this story <laughs> yeah yeah okay but but somebody's focus on race and ethnicity as a way to judge people it's it's a very good indicator of a person's character which is that as well <laughs> yes yes <laughs> hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe we will send you a free copy of our blasphemous art ebook and let me tell you it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today and we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week so make sure to subscribe link in the description below